Hello together. You might have seen my um, posts on Twitter the last couple of days about a web service for an NFT marker creator. And you might have been wondering what is it all about, why do we have that, why do we need this, and so on and so forth. Well, truth is, so far if you wanted to create an NFT marker creator, meaning a picture like this one that you wanted to track and augment with JSAR Toolkit or with AR.js, you had to go to GitHub, download a GitHub repository and run the marker creator locally, or use the GitHub hosted version, which is rather slow. So what I've done is I created a proper web service of that, and that makes the whole thing very easy. And you will see at the end of the video that it contains even more than just the creation of the marker. Now, I've got children all about me, as you might hear in the background, so I try to keep that rather fast today and jump straight in. So the NFT marker creator, you can reach it at nftcreator.tripod-digital.co.nz. I'll add that to the, to the movie later on. Then all you need to do is you add an email address because they're going to send you the link to your created images or markers via email as it's running a bit in the back end. So you're going to select your image. From here, I did it with the Altera uh, ticket one. You hit generate. It's going to run a bit. You see it circling here. Then a pop-up will pop up up here telling you that it's all done. And um, I'm going to send you an email when it's ready. So what, will you, what you will receive then in your inbox is something that looks like that. An email with the heading NFT and link to your NFT marker. And then you will find a link here. You can use that link, just copy paste it. You can either use it inside WebAR Studio, I'm going to get to that in a second, or you can use it within JSAR Toolkit or AR.js. Now first for the usage of JSAR Toolkit, let's say you've got a JSAR Toolkit project here running with the web workers, which makes the most sense. And then you're going to have an object which holds your markers, or well, in this case, one marker. And instead for the URL being locally here on your device or on your server, you're just going to replace that with the web hosted version. It's already being hosted by HTTPS, so you don't have to worry about that. In fact, you don't have to worry about anything. You just yeah, paste it in here. It will pick up the marker when loading the website in the browser, and then it's ready to track. So that's the one option. Just paste it in here. Now the other one for Web AR Studio, I've got a pre-created project here for Web AR Studio. If you want to know how to set up the project, please go and have a look at that one, Web AR Studio Image Tracking NFT intro. That's what I created just a couple of weeks ago. But then you've got this one. And in there, in your scene, you will have your AR trackable 2D. Now what you're going to do is you simply replace, uh, well, you simply add. For me it's a replace, but for you it will be an add. Add your URL to the NFT marker right here, and you're good to go. You fire up the project of the play button. It's going to be ready, and it's going to be tracking. And that's all for today. Let me know if you got any questions. And yeah, happy coding and happy creating web AR experiences. Thank you. Bye.